absolute chaos in here at the minute. Um, we are knackered. There's another one that's knackered. Um, we are just trying to pack, get everything ready to head out. So it just feels like a bit of a frantic, I should have done a lot of this before. Feels like a frantic, um, frantic hour or two so far this morning. So we're about to leave probably the next 10, 15 minutes. Um, all packed. I think I've ticked it, ticked it twice. Um, and let me show you how many bags it is. It is crazy. Two nights, we're literally going for two nights and this is how much stuff I have. Look at that. I mean, there is four of us, but like, there's that bag. I think there's still one more bag upstairs. Um, like a little bag, but it is crazy. Say hi. Hi. This is my daughter, Cassie. Prep problems. Look at that. Like, what do you do with that? Like, it's so big. I know it's elasticated, but even then, like, I'm sure if you pull down hard enough, it'd fall down. We're not going to try that. Friends, Don and Key. It's Frank and Joe. But I call them Don and Key. Oh, they do like their carrots, don't they? Mm -hmm. They do. <laughs> We're on route. Um, just stopped, had lunch. So I had my salad and my corn and cottage cheese. Uh, I forgot my cracker breads in the panic of this morning, so I ended up having the rice cakes. Um, so I will get some more of those out for my snack later. In the car, we've got my son Josh, Cassie, and my husband. I am starting to get really nervous. Um, I don't know, maybe a bit emotional, I don't know. Um, yeah, it's just anxious, nervous. It's all feeling a bit real. Uh, tans in, in like an hour, so um, yeah, I've never ever had a tan. Definitely not a show tan, so uh, it's going to be an experience in itself. Wish me luck. So yeah, we're just driving down there. We're about um, 10 minutes away, so uh, yeah. So far, so good. We have checked into the room. It is a tiny little room for the four of us. There's a double bed and two singles. I have a single because I'll be sleeping with inside a duvet. Um, so we've checked in. We are here and now we're walking to go get my uh, base coat tan. <gasps> Exciting. In three, two, one. Just had my tan. I am looking very, very bronzy at the minute. So I've just had my tan and uh, just waiting for the husband to come back so I can carry my bags. So I'm back in the room. Do you want to see the state of my feet? It is ridiculous. Look at the bottoms of my feet. That is insane, right? That is like minging. It is, um, there's no like mirror in this room, which isn't great. Um, oh yes, there is, hold on. Uh, let me just put, flip it around. Focus on there. There you go. Look at the state of the bottom of my feet. It is insane. That's tan. That is literally tan. They've um, tanned my feet, the bottom of my feet. Great. So husband and family have gone out now it is five o'clock the night before uh show day or the evening before show day or the afternoon whatever you want to call it um i am chilled out in the room at the minute just wearing a t-shirt literally i'm just wearing a t-shirt post tan um i've already had my snacks i've got my dinner so um i've already prepped my dinner and i have brought a i don't know if you can see on the side there there's a hob and there's a saucepan with a little mini fridge so i have bought a, a saucepan and a little mini hob um just so that i can uh heat up my food um because it is rice and curry so it uh the curry is just defrosting at the minute so hopefully that's defrosted or i'll stick it in the pan anyway and it'll just, i just need to warm it up as long as it's warm enough that'll be fine they do have a microwave downstairs so i can always just get it warmed up downstairs but i brought it anyway because 
like I might get porridge in the morning, some oats and whey. So, and I quite like my porridge quite cooked, cooked through. I hate it. You know when you go to like Starbucks and they just put boiling water in and then you just let it sit for three minutes. It, like to me, it's still a bit bitty. I feel like it needs to be cooked. Um, so I quite like porridge cooked. And since, since I get some porridge, I may as well have it the way I want it. Um, so I bought a saucepan. I am now starting to brick it a little bit, starting to second guess myself, emotions are high, um, starting to get nervous, I'm going to do a bit of posing practice first, then I'm going to sit down with my map book and just chill out for the rest of the evening, so I'm going to do that, get that done, and um, yeah, it's, it's, it's incredible, like, that I'm even thinking about doing this and I'm doing it and it's weird looking at myself looking so dark as well because I think it's dark in this room though to be fair um I am not that dark yet um but I am definitely darker um yeah I'm just starting to get nervous starting to get excited nervous anxious second guessing myself thinking what the hell am I doing like what the hell am I doing um I'm 43 years old I have lost over 100 pounds and um, and that's over a hundred pounds of my normal weight. So like, and it's weird because I, I put a post about this on Instagram the other day. Like what weight do you class yourself when you've lost weight? Is it your highest weight? Cause my highest weight, I was about 270 odd pounds after I'd given birth to my first. Um, and that took a few, few months, almost a couple of years to lose most of that. And then by the time I just lost all that weight that I'd gained, um, cause I was about 220, 230, um, before pregnancy and I gained like 50 pounds, lost that and then got pregnant again and only gained like 30 or 40 pounds in the second one, lost that. And then, um, it was about three or four years later that then I went on to this weight loss, weight loss journey and lost a hundred pounds. So from a highest weight to now, I've lost like as of today, like 150 pounds, that, that, that is ridiculous, like, I have, it's crazy to even think of it like that, right, so, that's like half of, I'm like less than half of what I was, like, it is insane, um, so, yeah, it's, it's a tricky one, um, and I'm starting start to get, like, goosebumps and stuff, and starting to get a bit emotional, I mean, it was hard, it, it was, <laughs> It was hard to even go in the tanning room today because I saw, because you're naked. So when you get tanned, you're fully naked and you're in this little booth. Um, and then you have to move to a, like a drying booth. And like as I was uh, walking in there, I was just like, yeah, I saw, you know, and I'm a bit of a people watcher and I, I just sort of kept my head down. But like you saw all these amazing women that looked incredible and then there was me who had so much loose skin got scars like it's just it wasn't it was hard and it was actually quite hard because um i don't look i don't look like them and, and maybe that's just made it worse in terms of me second guessing where i am now um but yeah it is it is what it is i'm just gonna give it my all and see where we get to stuff out of that this this bag here into this one I thought I may as well just show you what I've packed for show day so um right so I've got my weights I've got four kilo dumbbells plus my pump up bands so I've got some bands in here they're just like little um uh, like little like bands that you just pump up with and this is for the show pump I've got some wipes I've got some fluffy socks, uh, just in case it gets cold backstage. My jewellery is in here, so I've got my um, my jewellery in here. My bikini is in here, so um, I just left it in the box. So it's a, um, my bikini is in here with the box. I've got some post-show clothes. I've got some uh, sanitary products, just in case I need anything. 
Vaseline for your, apparently for your teeth just before because your mouth is quite dry so just make sure you don't get lipstick on your teeth. Um, I have my trusted Shiwi. I've got a book and pen just in case. I don't know if I need it. Um, in here I've got some like like supplies. I've got Bikini Bite. I've got some tape um, to tape on my um, bikini if I need to. I've got some spare straps and um, shoe straps, Gorilla Glue and then a little mini sewing kit. So um, yep, that's that. I've got a robe. I've got a medical kit if I need it and I've got some dryers sheets and they're supposed to be good like if you get sweaty or anything. I've got some water that I need to put in there. My shoes are here with my posing bikini um, and in here I've also got um, a little kit here with little diamantes just in case anything falls off the bikini with some glue and then I'm going to add in my food so uh, and my snacks for the day. So I've got pretty much all of that. I've got a litre, I've got a half a litre of bottle of water at the minute. Uh, she told me to take another, uh, she told me to take a litre, so I'm going to add in another litre now. Um, and yeah, so, and in terms of food, let me just show you what I've got from a food perspective, just so, um, I've got rice cake, I've got some rice cakes that I'm going to take, I've got some electrolytes that I've got to add into water, post-show, um, creatine, and then I've got gummies, peanut butter, dark chocolate, I do have some jam here as well, so these are pretty much my um, show snacks for the day, that's what she's told me to take, I don't know when I take it and what I do with it, but that's what she's told me to get. And then for tomorrow's breakfast, I've also got some oats and um, whey protein. So that is what I'll be having for breakfast. So yeah, I just thought I'd share that with you as well. Well, it's starting to get real. Definitely starting to feel real. I look quite dark now. I'm starting to really develop. I look quite orange. Um, Luckily, my face won't get any darker, so fingers crossed, that's a good thing. Um, and then, yeah, my fit, like my body is starting to get a bit darker, so see how, how much it develops over, over the night. And then there's another coat tomorrow, so I am going to be dark. Um, so, yeah, just embrace that, I guess. Just making my last meal. Um, literally just making some rice and curry, just heating it up on my, here's my little fridge, um, on my little hob, just sort of, yeah, just making it nice and warm, so, and nice and hot, so I can eat my rice and curry. So yeah, that's what I'm doing right now, last meal of the day. And then I've got a little bit more water to drink, but yeah, last meal of the day. The hack of the day that I, somebody else told me about. I've cleaned film the toilet seat so I don't get tan on it, and here's my little wee cup with the holes in it. Good morning. It is show day. I'm making oats. My only proper meal of the day. Um, well, until after comp now. Um, it is show day. Uh, I am keep snacking at the kids so I'm sorry kids I'm sorry Cassie I'm sorry Joshy look they've got it on camera now so um yeah um I'm just hungry just hungry look at my face I am looking very very tanned um I have we've tried to put hair extensions in uh I don't know if you can tell yeah, I've tried to put the hair extensions in. I'm not sure if I'm going to keep them in or not yet, but um, got them in. I'll see what the hair lady says, and then I'll either keep them in or not. So, yay. Good morning. It is show day. Um, I am just making some oats um, on the hob here. I'm just adding some more water to make it a little bit more substantial and creamy. Although I think I've just added in too much water now. Eek. Um, so yeah, I'm just making some oats for breakfast. Uh, this is my only meal of the day. I have been snapping at the kids, so I am sorry, Josh. 
You've got it on camera now. Gussie, I apologise for snapping. I do have hair extensions in, which the kids, my husband and my daughter have kindly helped me put in. So, I don't know if you can see them. They are in. Uh, I don't know if they're going to stay in. We'll see. They, I feel like they keep trying to, well, they're, like, they're not secured in, but we'll see. Um, but yeah, I'm looking very brown. And uh, I'm actually feeling quite lean uh, at the minute and just really tight at the moment. So, um, yeah. Yeah, fingers crossed everything goes to plan today. How you doing? Okay. Oh my gosh. We're just walking down to my second coat of tan. And um, I have my trusty bag man with me as well. Um, my husband. He's been... These two, my daughter and my husband, have been my absolute rock throughout this. They've been out on morning walks with me. They've been out on evening walks with me. They've come out on cardio sessions with me. My daughter's trained with me, even days that I didn't want to train. Um, they've walked with me days that I didn't want to walk or struggled. Um, they've made choices on their birthdays to make it easier for me to eat. And it's just, it's in, it's, I can't thank them enough. Don't cry. Second coat tan done, just waiting for hair and makeup. God, it's freezing.
absolutely incredible. Everything they've achieved is amazing. But ladies, let's get those quarter turns for the photos. Let's get a quarter turn to your right. before but I still as my son calls it look like I've been on holiday like I'm just a normal town um, and I placed second in transformation and I'm so surprised and chuffed with this only because I screwed up my routine both times I think I did a worse job the second time to be honest um, in transformation category but I got second I got my medal I got my trophy um, I'm just in I'm just um, yeah I'm just over the moon just cannot believe um, that I got second because um, when these when they announced fourth and fifth I thought I'll only ever get to fourth and fifth anyway um, and then they went to third and I was like oh, that's it I'm done just smile don't worry and then they called my name and I was like oh, oh my god but um, yeah I play second. I got a trophy. Um, so I am over the moon. I didn't vlog as much as I'd hoped to. It was quite a frantic day to be honest. So if I look back, so obviously I had breakfast in the room, got to the place, had a tan. Once they put the tan on, I was just frozen through. Like I could not get warm for love nor money. Um, I was wearing my joggers, the, the hoodie, the t-shirt, everything, and I just could not get warm. Um, by the time I got out of town, it must have been about 10, 10, 15. So got out of town, 10, 10, 15, chatted to some of the girls there um, that I knew from the Lawrence Posing group and then some of the mock and show days that I went to and some other people that I met on Instagram. So um, 
sort of chatted backstage, then went up to do hair and makeup at half eleven, so I missed the parade anyway. I knew I was going to miss the parade. Um, and maybe in hindsight, if I'd gone up a bit earlier, they probably would have taken me earlier, but, you know, it is what it is. It's fine. Um, got down from there, then had to check in with my coach, um, and then they started running the the schedule quite quite well, so they didn't spend a lot of time judging, So, which was great because it meant that we actually got some proper food in the evening, but yeah, so then I did, um, checked in with my coach, um, and um, had some, had a snack, so I ended up having two rice cakes, some peanut butter and jam, a couple of sips of water, so yeah, I was sipping water all day, so I think most I must have only had maybe 300 mils, like, not a lot, um, so yeah, had some water, and the, then, literally, then, like, they were announcing the fact that the, it was, um, amateur mums, the, to lift, so, um, I got ready for that, so, you know, shoveled a couple of sweets, started doing the pump-up stuff, um, I did all that, and then came back, then went up and saw my husband, um, then came back, and then, like, before I knew it, then went up to see my cousin, and then came back, and then before I knew it, you know, we were getting ready for transformation, so, um, yeah, it's just been a bit of a whirlwind, yeah, the, I mean, I had a couple of hours in between, but I went out on stage to watch the inter international model because it's a lovely one to watch um so and i only be able, well, I was only able to see the amateur one because then i had to get ready for transformation so uh my coach then said to have another meal i didn't even have time for another meal so I literally you know popped a couple of um sweets and then i had to pump up again so yeah it's just been a bit of a whirlwind day and I cannot believe that, A, this morning, I've weighed less than I've ever weighed in my life, and um, and I came second, so it's incredible. Um, so post-show, took some photos, went down to five guys and my parents, and my husband and my aunt, uh, and the kids. <clears throat> We had five guys. I just had a bite of um, my daughter's veggie sandwich, a couple of bites, and probably didn't even have a lot of chips, to be honest, because um, I was just struggling to eat. So one of the things my coach wanted me to do is just get in some electrolytes and a couple of litres of water. Definitely got in one litre of water while I was sitting at five guys with some electrolytes, so I, I definitely sort of did that. I think that just kind of filled me up. And then I had a little piece of the cookie pie, um, which was delicious. Um, I'm not going to lie, especially the Galaxy one, because that's the one that we kind of cut open. Um, and we had we shared one between like seven of us. So, yeah, it was a big cookie pie. Um, so I had that. And then, yeah, that's it, I guess. Uh, came home. My husband's just bought me a coffee from McDonald's that's got milk in it. I mean, oh you know, that's like treats, right, um, so, and it is, it's quite late, I'm not wearing my Apple Watch, so I really don't know what time it is, um, I think it's about, what, 11, 11.30 maybe, I'm gonna hit the sack, go to bed, because we're up early tomorrow, because I've got the photo shoot tomorrow, so, um, I just need to figure out logistics, what time we need to leave, and then that means what time we need to get up and get ready, so, I will ciao for now.